If we really want an AIDS-free generation, we need a vaccine. I want my grandchildren to be brought up in the same AIDS-free generation that I, this old guy, was brought up in. The HIV Vaccine Trials Network is a global network of researchers and communities around the world that are focused on uh, research and development of an HIV preventive vaccine. The HVTN has over 30 sites around the world in four continents. We are a laboratory program that multitudes of vaccine developers come to um, to try to understand what their vaccine candidate can and cannot do. Incredible substantive progress has been made in the last four or five years in the area of HIV vaccine, so that there's a renewed optimism um, that the scientific underpinnings are coming closer, are getting closer, that we understand them um, more, um, and that we are sort of moving uh, in a very positive way towards actually developing an effective global vaccine. We're focused currently to build on the success of a TIE trial that demonstrated a partially effective HIV vaccine. RV144 was a study that gave us an indication for the very first time that HIV could possibly be prevented with a vaccine. Everyone was ignited um, to take this piece of information and try to understand how did this happen and how can we make this better. And so the efforts that are going on now have been looking to see how might this vaccine have prevented these infections. We're focused on Southern Africa because we're intending to develop a vaccine that will target the communities that are impacted by HIV the most, and that is predominantly in, in the Southern African region. Vaccines bring hope to a community and communities need to decide what the priorities, the scientific priorities are for, um, for themselves. How we address the needs of the community in our clinical trials is a very high priority for, for us in the network. The importance of behavioral and social science in the search for an HIV vaccine is important for a number of reasons. One, for community engagement. Two, to improve the informed consent process. Three, to understand risk and exposure, um, which has an impact uh, in our understanding of the efficacy of vaccines. The people that participate or volunteer for vaccine trials are ordinary, everyday people like you and me. They're just ordinary community members who want to make a difference um, and understand that this is one of the ways that they can do that. Without the volunteers, we have no program. They are by far the stars, the, uh, the absolute rock of, of what we're doing here. I've been a volunteer now for eight years. I think it's a great thing to do for the community, and I have a few friends that are positive, and I will do anything I can to help. There's a lot of misunderstanding in the community about what it is an HIV vaccine program is all about. People may think that you can get infected by a vaccine, which is not true. You have to make them understand that by receiving the vaccine doesn't mean that now they are protected from uh, acquiring HIV. Uh, you have to make them understand that this is still a trial, still ongoing. We ourselves are not sure whether this vaccine will work or not. If we're successful, it's just going to be huge for mankind. Um, and I think that you know the impact that HIV has had for three or four generations is it's time to stop it. And so to me, this is the way we can do it. So I'm happy to be part of it. To be involved in, in HIV vaccine research is a great privilege for me because um, we would be incredibly proud to be part of a program that found an HIV vaccine. That, and, and if this HIV vaccine is efficacious, um, we would be incredibly excited to roll this out to the population of South Africa and beyond its borders. This is our life's work. We don't come here for, to have something to do and get a paycheck. We come here to find an HIV vaccine. That's, that's the bottom line.